Clayton Miller family documentary in the works. Cape Breton Post. Published the 7th of May. 2018 1 26 p.m. Last updated the 7th of May. 2018 2 42 p.m. Gervais Miller and his wife Maureen attend a news conference regarding the death of their son, Clayton, 27 years ago, in Halifax on Monday. Andrew Vaughan CP, New Waterford, a Toronto film company is making a documentary about the Miller family's fight for answers regarding the death of their son, The Nest. The Clayton Miller story is being produced by Pixel Pie which is raising funding for the project with an Indiegogo campaign. They've already been here, doing some filming. Maureen Miller said, they are going to be back for most of the summer, they are hoping to have it in the Toronto Film Festival, Miller said Pixel has not revealed a completion date for the documentary, which will focus on the death of Clayton Miller, there's a lot of people involved, a lot of witnesses, and they are trying to get as many people as possible involved in this documentary, Miller said filmmakers were going to document the annual justice for Clayton Miller walk on the 6th of May. It will be 28 years to the day of when Clayton was found, Miller said. The walk is to let everyone know we're still out here and we're not stopping. Clayton Miller was 17 years old when his body was found face down in a stream on the 6th of May, 1990, two days after New Waterford police raided a teen party in the woods. The Millers believe their son died while in police custody and his body was placed in the brook. Two separate 2015 investigations conducted by Nova Scotia's Serious Incident Response Team and the Chief Medical Examiner concluded that Miller was drunk when he fell into the stream while trying to run from police. Those recent reports echoed a series of earlier investigations, all of which concluded Miller's hypothermia death was an accident. The new Waterford Police Department was cleared of any wrongdoing. Miller said family lawyer Ray Wagner will be requesting a meeting with the new CERT director Felix Kackener. In October 2017, former CERT director Ron MacDonald said there wasn't any information or evidence to reopen the case. The Millers maintain new evidence and witnesses uncovered were not investigated by CERT.